Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, with a crunchy surprise, these date rolls are a Christmas classic. Hi, you're watching Plating It at Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. This recipe has been a popular request, so let's get rolling. Now let's start by making that lovely soft dough for our date rolls. For that, we're going to go in with half a cup or 113 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. And to that, we're going to add 60 grams or one third cup of white granulated sugar, which I have powdered and sifted. Now let's cream this together for about five minutes till it turns light and fluffy. Now that we're at the halfway point, let's scrape down the bowl. It's important to cream the butter and the sugar up well and incorporate as much air as you can into it because we're not going to be using any leveling agent when making the date rolls. Now this seems just right. Now to that, let's add one egg which is at room temperature and one and a half teaspoon of a pure vanilla extract. Now let's blend this together. And if your batter is looking a little bit curdled, nothing to worry about. It'll all come together once we incorporate the flour. Now to this, we're going to add two cups or 250 grams of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of salt. Now on a slow speed or stir, let's bring it together till we get a popcorn-like crumble. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now with clean fingers, let's go in and bring this all together till we get a nice soft dough. Just want to gently press it down to bring it together. And that's what we're looking for, a lovely soft dough. Now let's divide this into two portions. Now we're going to wrap each portion in a plastic wrap. We're going to pop this into the refrigerator for about an hour so that it gets a chance to firm up. If you're wondering why I divided the dough, it's because I like to work with just one portion at a time while I keep the other portions still in the refrigerator. For that crunchy surprise, we're going to stuff the dates with some walnuts. I've got some walnut halves here, and so I'm just going to halve that. And we're going to cut the date into half. And into that pocket, we're going to add the little bit of walnut that we had cut earlier. And now let's seal it up and give it a light roll. And there we have the stuffed date. Now let's take one portion of the dough and roll it out. If you need to use some flour when rolling, dust the flour very lightly. You do not want to put too much of flour. And occasionally, very carefully move the dough around to avoid it from sticking. I'm going to roll it out just a little bit more. So you're going to roll it out till we get about that much of thickness. There are various ways that you can do date rolls, but the way I like to do it is to cut it into strips and then roll up the date into it. So what I'm going to do is first cut one strip straight down here, and then I'm going to take a date and just make an indentation to see the length of it. Lightly going right down the strip that I've rolled. And now we're going to give it a cut. Now gently we're going to lift it up. Let's just trim the side. To the cut end we're going to place the stuffed date and then gently roll it up. And then give it a cut. Press it down to seal it up. Let's whisk together an egg wash to brush the date rolls. We're going in with just the yolk. So we're going to separate the yolk from the white. And to that, let's add a dash of milk. Whisking it together. Now let's gently brush each one with the egg wash. 
After brushing the egg wash on the date roll, make sure to place it seam side down. Now let's pop these delicious date rolls into an oven preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 18 minutes until they get a lovely golden glow. Wow, look at these. Now we're going to allow them to rest for about 5 minutes before we put them into a wire wrap to cool completely. Now let's plate these delicious date rolls. And because we love to impress a gentle dusting of icing sugar to finish it off. Looks like it's going to be a white Christmas, so let it snow. Oh my goodness. These are looking so delicious and irresistible, so now let's give them a taste. Wow. Mmm. Hey, and before I go, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe and if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.